The circus is in town. Not my kind of circus. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from parts unknown. Weighing in at 243 pounds. Doink! The Clown! I mean, I, I usually love clowns, but Doink the Clown completely changed my yeah. opinion. Doink has struck fear into the hearts of the WWE Universe for many, many sleepless nights. I think Doink's pretty twisted. He likes to make kids cry. What kind of clown likes to make kids cry? Well, if it makes you feel any better, Saxton, Doink also enjoys making adults cry and weep at the suffering he is about to inflict on his opponent. One of the all-time greats, WWE Hall of Famer. And his opponent from Cobb County, Georgia, weighing in at 350 pounds, the Big Boss Man. Cobb County, Georgia's finest. Ready to instill a little law and order here in WWE. Yeah, Big Boss Man has been known to put some opponents actually in prison. The official indicating that we're about to have a no contest. Okay, everyone, you got it out of your system. Time to get back to business. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Oh, take it right to it. No waiting. Just a ruthless streak for the world to see. Big forearm. I'm gonna ask Corey, what do you think Doink needs to do here to get the upper hand? Doink loves to play evil tricks, but he needs to stay serious and keep his focus in this one. Few folks are as dangerous than a focus Doink the Clown. Here he comes, sliding back in. Break of the eyes. Oh, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. How much cheating can you do in one match? Oh, face stop. Just cranking it out. Just cranking the head. That holds back Boss Man's attack. And out of the ring he goes. He's heading up top. Here we go. such a risk 
Taker. And back in the ring we go. He got whipped into that corner. Not where you want to be right now. Absolutely. What else are we going to see now? How about a planet? He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. I would not want to be him right now. I don't like where this is going, and it's so high up. What are they going to do from up here? Oh, my God, this oh. is going to be down with the side slam. And now Doink has all gears in motion. A serious mean streak on display here, showing that a focused Doink is a dangerous Doink. Now the reversal by the boss man. A counter answer by another counter. Sequence of reversals there. Ooh, right across the solar plexus. Foot overhand shot. And up the turnbuckles we go. Up high. I mean, headbutt. Where is Doink going now? Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. Blast off. Diving shoulder tackle. Taking a chance one more time and landing with incredible impact. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Oh, Dunk! Whoopie cushion connects! Will Dunk make it pay off? Makes a cover! Two! Three! It's over! All in a nice work! A force to be reckoned with in the women. Alexa Bliss really knows how to toe the line without crossing it. Something you hate to admire, guys. Pay respect to the goddess, Cole. Alexa Bliss knows how to capitalize, and that's something that separates champions from chumps. Bliss has certainly proven she knows how to turn a bad situation to her advantage. I'm sure we'll see some of that signature craftiness here. And with Dewdrop, we're looking at a competitor who's always ready to bring the fight and the pain to her opponent. 
Dewdrop's a no frills kind of superstar, just a powerhouse who wants to impose her will. Tonight should be no different. Golly, an endless trampling there. Bliss avoids the attack. Dewdrop expected that. Here's a snapmare. Oh, yeah, she is really showing her confidence. Alexa Bliss in position. Oh, wow. Looking for a high risk, high reward situation. She's getting back up. Watch out. And Corey Dewdrop is one of the more experienced competitors in WWE, but she is relatively new to this roster. How does she make up for that lack of experience on the big stage? Well, Dewdrop needs to go with what she knows. Pure power. It got her to NXT UK. It got her to the main roster. And if she sticks with that, it could be enough to get her to win. Dewdrop looking powerless to every attack. This is all of Dewdrop's fortitude getting tested. Big time Larian. Starting to fire up. Superstar getting this from. This is incredible. Oh, what a shot. Oh, a club with a right forearm. Turnbook was the only thing keeping her upright. Crushed in the corner. She's feeling the hurt here. Dewdrop taking it to the top rope. From the top. Bliss really knows how to toe the line without crossing it. Something you hate to admire, guys. Pay respect to the goddess, Cole. Alexa Bliss knows how to capitalize, and that's something that separates champions from chumps. Bliss has certainly... <laughs> Alexa Bliss really knows how to toe the line without crossing it. Something you hate to admire, guys. Pay respect to the goddess, Cole. Alexa Bliss knows how to capitalize, and that's something that separates champions from chumps. Bliss has certainly proven she knows how to turn a bad situation to her advantage. I'm sure we'll see some of that signature craftiness here. And she's got a lot to deal with tonight because Dewdrop is one of the youngest and most promising superstars in a very crowded division. In a locker room with some of the best athletes on this earth, Dewdrop stands alone. That power and that agility make her a true force to be reckoned with. Thinking about rolling pin, watch this. Oh, wow. Look at the left shoulder. I don't understand this. Why in the world do you stop the count there? I've got a feeling she's going to live to regret. We're going to end things here with the Cobra Clutch. Fading quickly. Is Bliss going to tap? Is Bliss going to tap out? 
I think Bliss is starting to fade. <laughs> Trying to break the grip, a series of elbows. Wow. Places her right in the corner. Solely focused on. Trapped in the corner, just letting loose. Goodness gracious. Oh, two drop answers back. Right to the kidneys from behind. She's forced onto the defensive now. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Face first. Dana across the ring from Dewdrop has to be intimidating. How does she gain the advantage here? Against a powerhouse like Dewdrop, you need to dictate the pace. Really bring the fight to her, and you may have a recipe for success. Looking vulnerable on that top turnbuckle. Look at oh, look at this power. Look at this strength. Superhuman military press slam. Right across the knee. Heel lock locked in. This is painful. Focused attack on the leg. Bang! Big form. Out of the blue, Bliss gets countered. Club comes down very effective. Uh -oh. Oh, that'll flatten you right out. Just bear witness to the power and agility of Dewdrop. I'm seeing it. What? seen guys never a Here comes a man. Possibly one of the biggest pop culture icons of all time squaring up here. Mr. T is no stranger to getting physical. What a legend. Mr. T was everywhere when I was a kid. He was a viral sensation before that was even a thing. With such a gruff and rough demeanor and a positive message, it's not hard to understand what makes Mr. T a household name. I hope he's ready for a lesson tonight because Brian Kendrick doesn't just see himself as a superstar, he sees himself as a teacher. He wants to make his opponents better, usually by humiliating them and teaching them a lesson they won't forget. Safe to say, Brian Kendrick does not suffer inexperience lightly. If you look out! Inflicted. That's how you wear down your opponent. Cranking the head. 
I'd have to think that focusing on dishing out clubbing blows is Mr. T's best path to victory here. Do you agree? Hey, you're absolutely right, Cole. Mr. T is very well known as being a clubber. He can't afford to give his opponent any breathing room to recover. Just a continuous rush on Brian Kendrick here. I love what Mr. T's doing here. Raining down clubbing attacks and giving his opponent no breathing room whatsoever. High risk area up there. Will there be... And here we go now, top rope. Military press slam. Double axe handle. Oh, and the comeback gets shut down. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Oh, dropped right across the neck. Let him have this moment. He's earned it. Oh, well-measured strike. Here he goes for the win. Instantly, he has his shoulders up. Amazing. And Mr. T able to reverse that. Look at the submission move. Yes, the Boston crowd. Look at the back position. I think he's got it locked in good. I just don't know how to counter this thing. And he chooses to let go of the hold. But just the amount of time he was in that submission could be very significant. Ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Look at him. Pride and oh, he grew tired of this smug attitude. All the way over. Up across the shoulders. Driven down with a fireman's carry slam. Does that finish Kendrick off? This is what you get when you...
some prestigious tag titles on the line right now. And matches like this are really foundational to the sports entertainment experience. You're 100% right, Kurt. Think of the legendary careers that began with tag team title reigns. We could be seeing someone take those first two fights. Byron, in regards to the champion, you often say, stick with the strategy that got him to the title. But is that always a viable option? Shook it out of the top with a title on the line. And an early kick out. He's really trying to rush this match. Face first with a waist lock takedown. Back suplex. Very nice. Just breaking down the opponent. And crashing down. Landslide. Throws up the shoulder. Right in the mouth, oh, relentless. God. Enough already. <laughs> That's pretty cool to watch, though. Oh, man, you can see he is from the top.